Uh, my name is Stephen Rickson and I'm running for Vice President of Education and Placement. Hi, my name is Manus McLaughlin, I'm from Mayo and I'm currently studying primary school teaching in St. Pat's and I'm running to be your Vice President for Education and Placement. Um, I've done a four year course that has like a lot of placement, I was on placement for two whole semesters out of third and fourth year and I think I'd have a lot of experience and it's something I'm really passionate about so I'd bring a lot to the role. Growing up with two parents as teachers and a sister as a teacher also, um, I've always had a fond interest in education. Um, there'd often be overheard dinner conversations over the last 10 years as to what needs to be changed in the education system. I'd love for you to give me the opportunity to take what I heard and implement it for once. Um, as well as that, I've two years previous student union experience and I often found myself branching out and helping beyond the boundaries of my job description at the time. For example, entertainments officer, I often found myself helping students on placement, with assignments, with exams, anything. Vote for me and I'll be there for you next year. One of the big ones, the, my main one, is feedback on assignments. All students need to be given feedback to know exactly how they go, how they go about improving their next work, what they did right, what they did wrong. And without getting feedback, you don't know. And as well then, referencing and essay writing skills workshops that need to be promoted more. They do, some are run, but they're not pushed enough. And then people spend ridiculous amount of time worrying if they're structuring essays properly, if they're referencing properly, and they should be focusing on the content. So if you know, if you're taught how to reference properly in first year, then you'll know for the rest. Um, during a 10 week pla my last 10 week placement in Mayo, I felt isolated. Um, as a result, I decided to find out if there was anyone else in the placement um, who felt the same. A survey I conducted of 227 people on that placement showed that only 14% of the people felt that the services provided to them by the college for mental well-being were adequate. That means 86% of the people who took that placement were not happy with the services provided to them. That's one problem. There's multiple problems with placement, financial support, transport, and as m much, much more. If you vote for me, I promise to be there for you on placement next year. In the position, well, I, as I said, I'd promote, so from the SU, actually promote uh, these workshops, try to encourage lecturers to actually include, um, like, going through proper referencing as part of the module, instead of just putting up kind of, oh, these are the APA guidelines or something like that, because pe often people struggle just reading off, you need to see it in practice. Um, I'd like to fight against unfair placement requirements. Um, that's all across the board. Uh, we receive the requir these requirements and we just do them. We never actually petition or campaign or fight against them. believe if we put enough of a driving force behind it, we might be able. As well as that, I'm going to provide placement and well-being packs to all because I feel the two are very much interlinked. And the last thing I want to say is I'd love to lobby for longer placement office opening hours, even if it was just a contact um, in the evening or the late a.m. so people can contact them. Um, I've been chatting to a lot of students around the college and it seems that everyone loves intra. I'm only joking. Um, there seems to be a lot of issues based around it. Um, all I can do is I'll promise you that if elected, come two weeks time, I will start tackling these issues because I believe if I tackle them come next September, they just won't be implemented in time and nothing will get done. Change is not easy. Put me in front of it. I will get stuff done. Um, I think maybe some like something on stage just I don't know what but a performer of some sort it's okay. why it's fun what I do <laughs> um, I suppose um, I'd love to just work for a few years as a teacher maybe go abroad learn some and get gain some experience with regard to that um, as well as that I would love to come back and maybe get teaching in an autistic unit resource support help children in need I really like that I had a two-week special ed placement there in first semester and I really really enjoyed it 